Okay, so today I have some questions here on my computer. Um, I asked you guys in a like ask me anything thing on Instagram a couple days ago and yesterday and today. So we've got 10 questions here that we're going to be answering. I'm going to be answering about myself and my life. <laughs> um, so you guys can get to know me better, I suppose. And it'll just be super fun. I've wanted to do a Q&A for a while, like probably ever since I started YouTube, but I don't know, I've never been brave enough to actually ask people to ask me questions because I thought that I'd get none, but we actually have some today, so let's just get into this video. Okay, so the first question is, why did you want to start modeling? Um. I get this question kind of a lot like in person by people who know me or don't really know me honestly basically ever since I can remember people told me that I should be a model I guess just because I'm like tall and skinny um I don't think I'm very tall at all at least in the modeling world 5'8 is pretty short so but I guess the average female heights like 5'4 so I guess that is tall um, but I guess modeling is kind of like an art form for me, or well, to me, because fashion is just really fun and I love like expressing myself through clothes and like makeup and stuff like that. And like just being on the runway is somewhere that I feel very comfortable and it's really fun for me. Just like the first time I ever did a runway show, I felt like that was where I was meant to be, I guess. I don't really know how else to explain it, but that's kind of the best way I can explain it. But yeah, I guess just the encouragement from other people telling me that I should be a model is what sparked it all for me. Like once I started to really get into fashion and um, I started like watching YouTube videos on other models who had been doing it for a long time, like Gigi Hadid, Kendall Jenner. Um, Haman Haman and just all of those beautiful ladies that really felt like the thing that I should be doing in my life and it just looked so fun just strutting down that runway working your stuff doing that thing <laughs> but I guess that's kind of it I just like I don't know I really love the fashion industry or the picture that they paint themselves to be because we all know that the real fashion world isn't quite like that <laughs> um but yeah it just looks really fun and i am ready to start my full-time modeling career as soon as i finish college and then the next question question number two is what do you love about vlogging and this is kind of an interesting question because all throughout school i hated writing so much and like even in my college English classes, I just hated writing papers and it's just so bad. I hate English classes. <laughs> but um, blogging is just way different than like writing a paper. Like you can just speak normally when you're writing a blog instead of typing it up professionally and having to like research something. Or at least the blogging that I do, by the way, our blog mine and my sister's blog is theblackpost.net it'll be linked down below if you did not know i do have my own website which i run with my sister and it used to be called back to black magazine and it was like kind of a zine an online zine before but now we've changed it just to a blog but there's a lot of different aspects to the blog website so super fun but um anyways yeah I just really like being able to talk about the things that I like, but like typing it out, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> and um, I guess the blog that really like got me into blogging is scoutthecity.com. Her name is Cy De Silva. She also has a YouTube channel. I loved her blog so much and that's like what sparked my joy for blogging. And I also like Margot Lee's blog. Hers is really great. And um, Crystal Bix on Instagram. Her blog is really good too. Hers is called This Time Tomorrow. I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I loved their blog so much. So they're the girls that inspired me to start my own blog. It was originally just going to be a fashion blog when I started my own blog at first a few years ago. But um, I just have so many other things that I want to blog about. So yeah, I guess I just kind of like talking about the things that I like. So that's what blogging is to me. The next question is, what are your favorite kinds of scents for all aspects of life? P.S. I love you. I love you too, Shelby. <laughs> My favorite kinds of smells would probably be like clean smells. I don't really like fruity smells when it comes to perfume or like candles because it feels, it smells cheap to me, <laughs> like Bath and Body Works. I don't know if that's rude, but that's just how I feel. Yeah, I just like clean or like manly Abercrombie and Fitch smells, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what else there is. I hate cinnamon smells, and I know that Shelby wanted me to say this in this video if I was talking about smells. I hate cinnamon smells. I hate cinnamon, and no, just no, I cannot do that. <laughs> yeah, I just really like clean smells, like fresh linen, laundry detergent, I don't know, things like that. In real life smells that I like, like, in real life smells that I like are probably fruit, you know, everyone loves a good fruit, a good strawberry, raspberry smell. There are other things that I really love the smell of that I'm just blanking on. Ooh, I really love the smell of cinnamon rolls and just good food. That's really great too. And the fourth question is, how do I find out about, um like modeling fashion shows and music videos. So this question is directed towards that music video that I was gonna be in a few weeks ago, I'm pretty sure, but I never went to it because I didn't want to <laughs> and I had other things to do. But, so I found out about that music video shoot from my sister's colleague's friend. He was the rapper for the music video and he was just saying like he needed models to be in his music video so my sister's colleague told my sister so that she could tell me about it and that's how i found out about that one specifically but usually a model would find out about fashion shows through an agent however i'm not signed to an agency yet so i just have to like hear about them through instagram and stuff because i do have a lot of model friends in our small little model community in Arizona, um, like the freelance models who aren't signed. So yeah, that's how I hear about all of the events that I'm in. And I do have an agent who does send me a few things that I cast for, like a few photo shoots and commercials and stuff like that. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and the next question, question number five, is my who is my favorite designer of all time? This is a very hard question. Um, I don't think that I could name just one favorite designer of all time, but I do have a few favorite designers or just like clothing brands, I guess. I love Zimmerman. Their clothes are always so fresh and clean and just springtime vibes. I love their clothes so much. I don't own any of their clothes obviously because they're very expensive and they're a designer brand and I'm broke but I love their clothes and one day when I'm rich and wealthy I'll be buying from them. I really love Prada. Their purses and shoes are so so cute. Oh my gosh but they're so expensive. <laughs> it's painful how expensive they are but um I just love Prada so much. Shout out to Mrs. Prada. <laughs> I don't even know who I like. I like so many designers and brands. <laughs> um, but I do really like Charles and Keith. Their clothing is so nice and it's like designer quality for cheaper. So that's really great. This video is going to be painful to edit. And the next question is, what's my favorite pizza topping? 
and sorry to disappoint but i am a cheese pizza type of gal i love a good plain cheese pizza i hate pepperoni and like meat on my pizza or pineapple on my pizza that is a no-go for me um i don't really like anything on my pizza unless it's yeah i don't like anything on my pizza <laughs> just cheese i can go for a good cheese piece of pizza right now the next question is what is my favorite thing about modeling um i guess my favorite thing about modeling is the way i feel when i model like i feel like as i said before this is where i'm meant to be like this is what i should be doing so it just feels really good to be doing something that you feel like you're meant to be doing and like every achievement you just feel closer and closer to your goal like your contentness in life i guess even though there's no certain point that you're going to be just content in life but that's what it feels like i guess um also another thing that i love about modeling is meeting all the other models and just connecting with all the other gals there and gentlemen there they're all so cool and inspiring and everyone's so beautiful it's just amazing how many beautiful people there are there and I love just being out there on the runway working it and seeing all the people there cheering me on and just loving everything about that um, I do really like photo shoots as well. Like the getting ready process is just so fun <laughs> for fashion shows and print. I love getting my makeup done and my hair done. That's so fun. And just traveling with other models is super fun too when you have bigger shows and bigger events. I guess bonding is just a really big thing for me that I like about uh, modeling. Like going out to eat with all the other girls there and getting to know everybody is super fun. The next question, number eight, is what are my future plans, I guess, in life and modeling? I don't know, it just said future plans, but um, I guess for modeling in the future, I would love to be doing this full time as my career, my main career in a couple years. I want to have enough money <laughs> to donate to all of the charities and causes that I want to donate to. I want to buy my parents a nice car. I want to buy them a home or just build their home in the spot that it's in right now because I know that that would make them happy. Um, I want to move out to New York I think I want to move out to LA first and then out to New York because I'd love to see what it's like living in LA. I want to move to Paris sometime in my life, maybe 10 years or so, 15 years. <laughs> Definitely want to live there, especially since I am learning French right now. Yeah, that would be super fun. I definitely want to visit France really soon though, like next year. That's where I'm trying to be next summer. I'm trying to be in france doing study abroad learning french obviously um that would be extremely fun and i want to be doing that with shelby i want to have my blog website very successful in the future so that that can be an extra source of income and i just love doing it so i'd love to be known for my blog as well i want to be successful on youtube so this video is getting us one step closer to being successful on YouTube. I want to see all of the world in my future. Definitely want to see all of the world. But first, I gotta travel to the states that I want to um, before I venture out into the other countries. <laughs> For right now, I've barely been out of Arizona. Like, I've driven through a bunch of states but i've never actually stopped and taken them in and like sight saw i've never gone sightseeing in other um states in america so this next question is a bit of a serious one if i had three wishes what would i change about the world we live in for my first wish i would wish that 
people didn't care about money so much. I think that money is one of the biggest issues in our world. Um, it leads to selfishness, greediness. People don't want to share their money with poorer peoples and poor countries. So they are all suffering right now. There are so many billionaires in the world right now that could end world hunger themselves. Like just one person could end world hunger and they just won't um, because they're greedy. But I guess it's kind of understandable. I don't know. I don't have all that money to try to understand why they would not want to help the world. But um, yeah. It's definitely the root of a lot of problems in the world, so I definitely want to fix that. And then for my third wish, I think I would just wish that people would care about other people a lot more because that's also one of the biggest problems with the world. People just don't care about literally anyone else or their feelings. So everyone's feelings are getting hurt all the time. And none of our governments care about its people. So <laughs> shout out to you, government. Yeah, just caring about people would help us all put ourselves in each other's shoes. So arguments would never be what they are like they'd never blow up as big as they do because you just care about the other person's feelings and you'd understand what they're saying you'd actually listen to them when they're speaking because you actually care about what they're trying to say or how they're feeling and if we just cared about everyone then no one would be hurting as bad as they are so we could just like fix ourselves and the last question is where do i see myself in five years exactly well in five years i see myself as being a full-time model um maybe living in new york or la most likely actually <laughs> see you losers but i see myself still blogging and still making youtube videos I think that my blog and YouTube channel will be very successful by then because five years is a long time. I'll be 24 then. It's crazy. I'm turning 20 this year and that's terrifying. I see myself still being best friends with Shelby and Rebecca because they're awesome people and I love them. <laughs> I see myself traveling the world, definitely and bringing my family along with me because I want them to see the world as well. I see myself advocating for change in the world, especially climate change. I definitely want to help make a difference in that. Um, and I see myself supporting my family and friends in every single way that I can. And I see myself doing many other great things that I just can't think of right now. So, <laughs> um, I guess that's all I've got to say. Well, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. This video was super, super fun to make, and I would love to do more Q&As in the future. Probably not anytime soon, because my life doesn't really change that often, so I don't really have anything else to update you guys on. <laughs> um, so I'll probably see you next year with a new Q&A video. <laughs> definitely don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. I will definitely be posting every week on this channel during the summertime. I've made it a goal of mine, so I will catch you next Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm.